Hello guys, and a very warm welcome to the Bear and Turnip Embroidery channel. This week's embroidery is an homage to one of my favorite characters from my childhood books, Alice in Wonderland. I'm clearly not a, the only fan of this book, as this book has been in continuous print since it was first published back in 1865. This was a simple and fun embroidery to create. I started off with a simple rendition of Alice, I transferred her onto the fabric, gave her a light watercolor wash, and then finished her off with some black colored threads. So if you're ready, please join me into slipping down, down, down the watercolor Hello guys, and a very warm welcome to the Bear and Turnip Embroidery channel. This week's embroidery is a homage to one of my favorite characters from my childhood books, Alice in Wonderland. I'm clearly not the only fan of this book, as this book has been in continuous publishing print since it was first pub- Hello guys, and a very warm welcome to the Bear and Turnip Embroidery channel. Hello guys, and a very warm welcome to the Bear and Turnip Embroidery channel. Hello guys, and a very warm welcome to the Bear and Turnip Embroidery channel. This week's embroidery features one of my favorite characters from my childhood books, Alice in Wonderland. I'm clearly not the only fan of this book, as this book has been in continuous print since it was first published back in 19... Ooh. Hello guys, and a very warm welcome to the Bear and Turnip Embroidery channel. This week's embroidery features one of my favorite characters from my childhood books, Alice in Wonderland. I'm clearly not the only fan of this wonderful book, as it has been in continuous print since it was first published back in 1865. This was a very simple and easy embroidery to create. I started off with a simple rendition of the character Alice. I transferred her onto a fabric, gave her a light watercolor wash, and then finished it off with some black colored threads. So if you're ready, please join me in to slipping down, down, down the rabbit hole and watching to see how this lovely embroidery is created. Also, in the meantime, if you can hit the like and subscribe button to support this small tiny channel, it would be very much appreciated.
Thank you for spending some time in the rabbit hole with me and watching to see how Alice is created. If you would be so kind, please hit the like and subscribe button to support this small, hardworking YouTuber. If you have any questions or comments at all about embroidery or comments in general, leave them in the comments section below and I'd be happy to get back to you. I think that's it for me today, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!